Hey, 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 Aqua. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, January 7th to the 8th Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please understand that energy and time are fluid, so feel free to switch up the roles as you deem necessary and know that this could be past, present, or future. All right, and don't forget, please, to like, share, and subscribe right down below before you leave today. I do appreciate it. And if you already have, thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscriptions. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit has to say. Okay, what's going on in Aqua World? Aqualand. We have the World Card. We have the King of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Five of Swords. Okay, I'm hearing giving up the fight. Giving up the fight. For some of you, you could have been fighting, this could be many things, a relationship. Fighting for a job, position. There's something you're just giving up on. Because there was game playing involved, there was jealousy involved, it was just, you know, it's sort of like winning at all costs. For some of you, you may have felt ganged up upon from a group of people. There's five and with the swords and the wands, that's what I feel like there's people that are around you, right? In your environment, ganging up on you. It could be vice versa. You know who you are. Okay. Any messages? They want you to be low-key regarding this situation, and it's different for all of you. They said, don't make a spectacle. Whatever that means, just don't make a spectacle of it. I don't think you are, Cap um, Aquarius. I almost called you Capricorn. Could be a Capricorn um, involved in this, I don't know. However, it is one in the morning, so. Yeah, they, there's some communication that, that comes that upsets you. Uno momento, Ted. There's a communication that comes that upsets you. I'm going to clarify this in a minute. As soon as I give Ted the... That's my dog, Ted. Ooh, wait a minute. There's a card that just fell from the floor. The Eight of Swords. See, there's even a reason why Ted was upset. Brought my attention to this card that was on the floor. Eight of Swords. You're all caught up in your head about this. Don't be, they're saying, don't be. Just walk away. Don't make a skip, uh, spectacle of this. Hang on one minute. I gotta see what's up with Ted. Hang on. Sorry about that, Aquarius. Ted's all set. And the Eight of Swords. You are all up in your head about the situation. Spirit saying, don't be. Love yourself enough to just walk away. It's not worth it, especially in this energy that we have just stepped into with this 2020 energy. Don't go backwards, go forward, I'm hearing. Let me see. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords, please. Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, and Page of Swords. Why? 
Yeah, Seven of Cups. The more you think about it, the more confused you're going to get. Advice for this. Advice for this portion of the reading. Don't worry, be happy. Ten of Pentacles. Where are you most comfortable? Okay? Where, what feels like home? Shouldn't even say comfortable, right? Because we can get comfortable in many places. But there's no place like home, right? So where is home for you? Ask yourself that. Where is home? Aquarius. Clarify this King of Pentacles. Clarifying the King of Pentacles is the Four of Wands. This could be a twin, or this could be a marriage, or both. Um, previous long-term relationship or current long-term relationship. Let me see. This is something you want to manifest. This is something the king wants to manifest. And this is you. I'm feeling this king is you. This person could be at a distance. Okay, you want to start a new cycle. I feel this is somebody that you already know. This is somebody from your past that you were either married to or had a long-term relationship with. Clarify this king of pentacles and four of wands, page of wands. You're really excited about this. I like this, Aquarius, because you're optimistic. I feel optimism in this page of wands. <laughs> my dog, Teddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's a not. Okay. Clarify. Um, yeah, I like this feeling. I like that you're getting excited about a possible manifestation with somebody. Okay. Because you see it. You feel it. You know, you're owning it, and I like that. Tell me about this other person. Who is this other person? For some of you, it could be somebody that you meet, and it instantly charges you up, and you get excited, and you, it's like you know, you see a future with this person. Tell me about this other person for Aquarius. Tell me about this other person for Aquarius. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the King of Swords, usually Libra for me as a reader. Seven of Wands. This person may be a little bit defensive, but there is a spiritual connection here. They are very intelligent. They're single, Nine of Pentacles. They could have Earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Fire. This is this person, a little bit guarded, okay? A little bit guarded. It could be guarded if this was a previous relationship, um, guarded because of whatever happened, whatever went on, so they're a little bit guarded. It's not the Nine of Wands, so think of it that way. It's not um, as guarded. There's room. There's room to grow here, Aquarius. There's room to go. Right? So, Nine of Pentacles, this person is independent, autonomous, can take care of themselves, knows their worth, right? Is very comfortable in their own shoes. You are on their mind. That's what I'm getting. You're on their mind a lot. Okay, tell me about this world card. King of Cups. Nine of uh, Swords and the Star card. This is your card, Aquarius. This is a desire and a wish for a new cycle. And you would like to express this to this person, but you're anxious and fearful. This could be keeping you up at night. Okay, possible nightmares. But I'm feeling more anxiety. Not so much nightmares. Could be, but I'm feeling anxiety anxiety because you're itching to express your emotions that I'm feeling strongly with the king of cups here cancer scorpio pisces okay interesting because you're an air sign water in your chart you may be dealing with a fixed sign taurus leo scorpio aquarius you do have aquarius twice here right i feel that 
once you're emotionally balanced, because the King of Cups is emotionally balanced when they're in a good place, then you'll be able to express this to this person. You'll know when the time is right, they're saying. You'll know when the time is right. Okay, any advice for... I'm going to get two separate advice cards. One for advice if this is a past person. One for advice if this is a new person. I'm feeling it's different. So if this is a past person, this is your wish and your desire coming true. So they're saying, go for it. Go for your wishes. Go for your desires. This is fulfillment. And this is, where's the Nine of Cups going? It's only leading to the Ten of Cups. So this is your road to emotional fulfillment. So they're saying, go. Okay, this is a new person. What is your advice to Aquarius? Oh, Eight of Cups and Wheel of Fortune. Walk away from what no longer serves you. If this is somebody new, um, for some of you, you may need to walk away from somebody if you're already attached. I feel like if you're attached, it's not like... I want to say a long-term commitment and it, it it's not a long-term commitment okay just somebody that maybe you've been dating for a little bit that's what I'm feeling with that but hop on the wheel of destiny okay because this is the planet Jupiter this is destiny and this is in your 12th house 12th house rules spirituality that is the house of Pisces that is Neptune that is dreams that is the dream world okay So keep in mind, if it's somebody new, you have to walk away from something that is old, whether that be patterns, whether that be people, okay, or both, could be. So there you have it, Aquarius. I hope you resonated with that reading. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe. If you already haven't, you have yourself a fabulous day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.